had a dog that died with pulmonary fibrosis back about nine years ago. And I often wondered why a lot of our animals were starting to get the same diseases that humans get. They are inundated with cancers. They're, there's all sorts of things that are going on with our animals. I remember as a kid having my dogs live to be 18, 19 years old. I was lucky to have two of my dogs live to be 89 um, several years ago. So I started to do some homework after I lost my first Westie um, at the age of nine. And I said, there's got to be something better out there. There's got to be something different. So I got on a couple of my Westie sites and the infamous internet, and I started to read about holistic medicine. And I was always one that liked to eat healthy and exercise and do good things for my body. So I said, why can't I do the same things for my dogs? So I got online and I looked at some different things and I said, you know, maybe one day I'll do this when I get my next dog. I ended up getting my two dogs. They both came from the same breeder, two different sets of parents, and they ended up with the same symptoms. Um, Westies are prevalent to have skin disease. Um, they have ear infections. They have all sorts of things going on with them. So when I first got my first dog, there's a good, that's one of the pictures of Morgan. That's, that's part of what happened when he started to get sick. Um, but I'll backtrack just a little bit. What I did do was I brought him in to the vet for all of his shots, did the shots, did the heartworm, did all the things that I thought to be a good doggy mommy I was going to do. And he kept getting itchy and he was scratching and he ended up having an ear infection that wouldn't go away, brought him back to the vet, put him on antibiotics, put him on some other stuff, play it up for a while, and he said, oh, we've got this licked. No, we didn't, because all it did was suppress the disease. It brought it further into his system. So what I did was, and unfortunately it wasn't Mr. Mueller, it was another homeopath that I have to say that we had started with. She did up the history on my dogs. We did up all the right stuff. And she treated him on occasion, because he actually was doing very well until he ended up with one ear infection that we couldn't get rid of. And listening to my spouse, which was probably the biggest mistake because I knew better than to do this, he said, take him to the vet, Cheryl. He's going to lose his hearing. Have him do something. We did. We put him on prednisone, put him on antibiotics, brought him home. Two weeks later, he was great. The ear infection was gone. So we thought. About two weeks after the prednisone started, stopped, we weaned him off the right way. He ended up with blisters, the same story, the, the yellow blisters filled with pus all over his body. They had an odor, they were yellow. He ended up, every place he had blisters, he turned black. Not only did he turn black, he <coughs> lost his fur, and he actually had an odor with a layer of crust all over his body. So one day, I was gonna call the homeopath, I put him in his crate, and he was, he, he got sicker, he didn't get any better. So I called the vet and I said, look, there's something going on with the dog. I don't know what to do. He says, bring him in. We carried him in. He said to me, you need to make a choice. Yay! And I said, what's that? He says, either you're going to treat the dog by my standards or you can go off to your homeopath and let your homeopath do it. That's the, that was the decision, decision I made. We walked out the door. I never went back. I never put him on antibiotics. Never put him on prednisone, heartworm flea medicine, anything. He is, they're both totally done with all of that. So what happened was, is he, I called the homeopath, they put him on a remedy, and she said, Cheryl, I don't know if it's gonna help. She says, try it tonight, give him his dose, see how he is in the morning, call me, let's see how he is. I thought my dog was gonna die. The next morning was the first time that he actually walked out of his crate and did a little wag of his tail. And I said, it's not a miracle, but right now, I'll take it. So we continue to use the homeopathic treatments on both of my dogs. They've been under homeopathic treatment now for several years. We got to a point with my other homeopath that she was getting a little frustrated because Morgan would come go back and come forward, and my other dog would do the things. <coughs> and we decided it was time to move on. And I was blessed by meeting another speaker tonight, um, and she had told me about Mr. Mueller. And we went with you about a year and a half ago, I think. And we have seen nothing but improvements in my dogs. It's slow, 
homeopathic works slowly. It works inside their system. So if you want something instant, instant ramification, you're not going to get it with homeopathy, but you will get good results. I know that his liver, I know his kidneys, I know his pancreas, I know his thyroid are all healthy because he's not on medicines that are going to make him sick. So what we did was we've been continuing to do treatment on him, and I think he can go. That look like they do today. His fur has all grown back. He's still getting, we're still dealing with some ear infections. Um, we've also found out that he might have some issues. That, well, that's kind of what he looks like today because he has fur and he is active, he is playful. My 10 year old Westy is playing like he was two. I tell this newer all the time, I said, I don't know where he gets his energy, but I have to say that it's homeopathic remedies. And the other thing that I tell people, and I think I told you I was going to say this, for anybody who thinks that it's a placebo, it may be that way with humans, but it isn't with the dogs because the dogs don't know any better. And that's, that's basically my story on my two animals. And we did do a lengthy write-up um, with you, and <coughs> we have had some great success. And we've also found what, that he's got, we think that there's some mercury poisoning in his system, and we're working on that as well. But they're 8 and 10, and my two dogs are probably healthier today than they were the day they came home to me as well. And I have to thank you. And homeopathy. And that's my story, as great as it is. Thank you. <laughs>